Oh my god, this show, people, this show, this show. The Last of Us, episode four review. I don't like to take any notes. I like to speak completely off the brain here because that's the best way to do a review. So, was this episode bad? Mm, I didn't think it was bad. It was way better than the last filler episode, I'll tell you that much. An episode that literally had nothing to do with the story. If you actually skip that episode, you don't miss any part of the story whatsoever. It changes nothing. And you know, a lot of people, before you get into the review, a lot of y'all frauds online make me absolutely sick. Y'all make me sick. Episode one comes out. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Sony, Sony, the gods that so they, 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 they finally succeeded where everybody else failed. They made a faithful video game adaptation that's accurate to the characters and the Lord. Congratulations, Sony. You did it on episode one. And I appreciate it. Episode two, you did it too. Up until the very last time. Okay, cool. But episode three wasn't feeling it. That that was not Bill and Frank. What the hell is emailing me? I don't know who you are. But that was not Bill and Frank. Period. Period. I, I'll be the first to complain to y'all if Dina is not dating Ellie. I'll be the first. But for all these people to come out here with all these judgments and everything, you know, it's very funny for the privileged to be telling people like me, yeah, you heard me, to tell me what is and what isn't, who's hateful and who isn't, because you're hateful. That's a fact. And we're going to expound more on that with the Harry Potter review later. But we'll talk about episode four right now. Episode four starts out, you know, with Joel and Ellie. They get the truck. That, that, that truck is looking pretty pristine for something 20 years old. I'm not going to lie. And, you know, I'm thinking, why are they playing a radio? The battery could die. The battery could be old. But, you know, Jay got vroom, vroom, vroom. He talk about, nah, that car is good. Okay, I believe you. So, you know, they drive, you know. Gas gets distilled and old, so, you know, you can only drive an hour on a tank. They're siphoning off stuff. Ellie, you know, has picked up the gun from the last episode. She's pointing into the camera, pew, 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 into the mirror. You know, little, little, little fun things. You know, they sleep in the woods, which was kind of wild. I mean, I know Infected don't go in the woods and they're going off because of Raiders, but I would not have slept on the floor or the grass or the dirt, whatever. I would have been in the car with the windows, the doors locked, whatever. And there ain't no way I'm sleeping outside. If anything, I was sleeping outside, I would have at least slept in the back of the truck. But I am not sleeping on the empty on the empty floor. Ground, dirt, grass, whatever you want to call it. Not a complaint, just my personal opinion on what I would have done. So, you know, they're driving around, you know. Scenery looks good. The backgrounds look good. You know, the environments and everything. Everything looks good in this show. You can definitely see where the budget went. And then they come on the QZ, or I don't know if it's a QZ or a military outpost, the ambush. And the ambush was, eh, you know, a lot, a lot of people didn't like the ambush. I didn't mind the ambush because in my opinion, I don't think humans are, are used to fighting other humans. They're probably used to more or less fighting infected that tries to run up on you and you just stand there and you shoot them. As opposed to fighting other humans that have guns and they actually shoot back. That is a different fight. Sorry, it is. So, you know, these guys are shooting at Joel. They're not flanking. They're not doing anything. They're yelling can lines from the game and sounds kind of ridiculous but kind of cool at the same time. Joel shoots one. The other one tackles him. But I think I was mentioning this in the watch along in the Discord that... This little tiny Hispanic or Asian dude had Joel pinned down and was basically pressing the gun down against his throat, choking him. Now, I know Joel, Joel said he's like 56, but he looks way bigger than this little kid, this little skinny runt guy that he would have to be able to, you know, I, I just think he would be, I mean, he's old. Okay, I get it, but I figured he'd be able to overpower him. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. He caught Joel by surprise. He's got his weight down. It's easier to push weight down than to push weight up. It is what it is. 
Ellie comes out, shoots the guy. It's like the whole scene where he falls off the ladder, gets the wind knocked out of him, gets choked out. You know, teaches her you know how to use the gun and everything. Cool. But now we fast forward to a new character, Commander Karen. And Commander Karen literally sounds like your little sister or your girlfriend or like your wife. You know what I'm not even going to say. She just sounds like a girlfriend, your sister, or your wife trying to command a bunch of grown-ass men. And it just sounded weird. She doesn't sound, you know, intimidating. She doesn't sound in charge. She doesn't sound aggressive like Tess and everything. Or the other girl, I forgot the black girl's name in the, in the first episode. It's escaping my mind right now. Marlene, I believe. But she just doesn't sound... Like she's a leader of men, a leader of people, or any person in authority. She doesn't. So they got this doctor locked up. I don't know why they have him locked up. He's chained up and everything. And they're looking for Henry and Sam. If you play the game, you know who Henry and Sam are. And then out of nowhere, she just kills the doctor. You don't kill a doctor in a post-apocalyptic world. How many doctors are really out there? For real. Like, you, the, a doctor would probably be your best hostage. Fix my men. Treat my men or die. Period. But they kill a doctor, which is just absolutely crazy. This woman is way too emotional, way too brash, not strategic thinking or anything to do something dumb like that. And I feel like if anybody else figures that out, they might turn on her. So, you know, they're looking around for Sam and Henry. They find some rations and everything. And uh, this is funny. I typed in the chat that they found a boomer. Because, you know, it was under the ground. You could see the ground moving up and down. But I had to remember that this isn't Gears of War. This is The Last of Us. It's not a boomer. It's a bloater. Because you can definitely check by, the, you know, at the end of the episode, they show the bloater is coming next episode. Spoiler or not, whatever. So you have the guy that's like, you know, you can see it in his eyes. He's careful, like, you know, we got to take care of this. You know, we can't just leave this around. Maybe we should get some backup. Like, I see it in his eyes. He's like, yo, this is a problem and a problem we got to remove. She's talking, Commander Karen's talking about, no, we'll just close the door. You know, board up the area, quarantine or whatever. Tell nobody to come here. We'll, we'll leave it alone. What? You're just going to leave a bloater alone. And newsflash, it does come out next episode. It's probably gonna, it's probably gonna stack up some bodies too, like a warhammer. Gonna stack up some bodies. So, I cannot take Commander Karen seriously, and we still have no motive really of why she's looking for Sam and Henry, other than some betrayal and some other vague things. We're probably gonna find out later. But I'm gonna tell you right now why I think Commander Karen does not like Sam. Or Henry, whoever the over one is. I believe it's Henry. I think Henry is her baby daddy. Swear to God, I, I'm calling it right now. Put some money down too. I think Henry is an ex-lover or a baby daddy and she is upset. Period. So you know, I had a couple minor fights, you know, Joel showing Ellie how to use a gun, them sneaking around. At the end of the episode, you know, they uh, slept in a room, they barricaded themselves in, kind of. They put glass all down on the ground to make sure, you know, if somebody came in, they would hear them. And what do they wake up to? Ellie telling Joel to wake up and a ninja turtle with a gun in Joel's face. Was this episode bad? No. Was it good? No, it was mid. The last episode wasn't terrible. It just doesn't fit any part of Bill and Frank, and it's completely different. And like I said before, hypocrites, y'all can't praise a show for being accurate to the lore and then go ahead and praise it when it's not. You either want A or you want B. You can't have your cake and you can't eat it too. Now, honestly, I'm losing interest in this show. I really have no desire to watch this show. 
but since I'm part of a podcast that does a watch along, and I like to review the show and get people's thoughts and opinions, then you know what? We're going to keep on going. We're, we're going to trudge along begrudgedly. I don't know what that is or who's outside, but they need to be quiet. I'm making a video. I'm Black Bond. I'll catch you guys later. Enjoy your week. Talk to you next time.